I think I also need to mention about, uh, because of the raging issue about the Section 23 of the Finance Act, whereby um, the, the, the Parliament passed a law saying, look, uh, every person who will sell any item must raise an invoice through ATMs. However, every rule has an exception. The farmers need to be an exception. And I think in the process of making that law, and that's what we have even proposed in the coming supplementary budget, that's what we have proposed in the coming finance bill. There need to be what you call a threshold. It's not everybody who needs to file ATMs. Anybody who is selling something below two million shillings or thereabout does not need to file ATMs. But if big corporations who are doing that kind of big businesses, they can do it. Why is that important? So at least we shield the farmer from what you call direct taxation. Remember, we, our farmers carry a lot of taxation from the, from the seeds they are buying, from the, from the chemicals they use, um, and, and, uh, and, and even from the food they eat, they hold, there's what you call indirect taxation. And as a Kenya Kwanzaa government, we told the farmers, we told the farmers that once we get an opportunity to serve them, we shall, our, our key duty and responsibility is to put money in their pocket. I've seen a lot of conversation about that issue about avocado. Oh, the members of parliament passed the law and now they are, they are saying that that law should not apply. I want to say this, two wrongs do not make one right. Two wrongs do not make one right. And then we normally say it is a mistake if it's, the, the mistake continues being made. If we have fought, known that there is a fault on that clause, there's always important to raise it and say, look, we need to change this because laws are made by men. And men, are, men, law is made to serve the man, not the man to serve the law. So the moment you find there's a law which is not serving your people, I think it's important to, 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 to comfortably say, look, there is a mistake here, we need to change. And I think we have, I think we have, we have expressed ourselves on that issue, especially on the matters pertaining to avocado. We have talked very, very, very clear on, the, on, on that issue, especially on taxation, on milk, on, on macadamia, and all those other crops which, which touch our people. And by the way, it's not only avocado which is affected, it is everybody, including the farmer of maize, the farmer of, the farmer of cotton, everybody who is selling anything, to fire items and therefore when i say we need to change that law it's change that law to serve every kenyan not only the people of gatanga alone not the avocado farmers alone but to serve every all the kenyans in such a way that there is a minimum threshold in terms of filing the a teams thank you very much Moshimo, do you think that amendment will save through going by the fact that uh, that law was passed unanimously by udm members you know that law was made by members of parliament that law will be admitted by the members of parliament. And secondly, remember, I have said clearly, two wrongs do not make one right. Two wrongs do not make one right. When you when when on your way, when you're walking on your way and you and you triple, it does not mean you can't you can't dust yourself and move on. So and then and, and then there is nothing crafted on stone. Everything is made by men. And we have noted that law may serve uh, the big traders may serve other people, but our farmers, we need to caution them from that. We have to go to Japan because we have to take care of our food. We have to take care of our food, our food, our food, our food, our food. Na tumefuraia tu kusoma lakini haya masomo tunasoma tunaendelea kusoma tu. Tunasoma ya nini? Kama tumasomeshwa na ile kitu tunalima yote serikali inakuwa inachukua. Tuseme tumefuraia kusoma lakini hiyo masomo tunasoma tunasoma kuhusu kahawa. Hiyo kahawa wanachukua Tuna wanachukua kodi ya hiyo kahawa, wanachukua kodi ya majani, wanachukua kodi ya, ya na, avocado. Sasa ninauliza kwa nini serikali inatuchezea? Wanatuchezea kwa sababu hiyo lazima tu kodi iwe iweko, lakini si kodi kama hiyo wanatutosha. Wanasema ati nikilima avocado wanachukua shilingi tano. Sasa hiyo shilingi tano ni ya nini? Kama mkulima mimi kama mimi ninanuliwa avocado moja kwa shilingi tano. Sasa wanasema ati ni patia ni hiyo shilingi tano. Sasa nitakuwa nikifanya kazi gani? Kama avocado mimi nauza ya elfu kumi, alafu nilipe kondi, nauliza si afadhali ningoe hiyo muti nipade mahidi kwa sababu mahidi na, na, na maharagwa itoshi usuru. Kwa nini wanatosha sisi wakulima wakulima kahawa, majani na maziwa na kitu inaitwa nini avocado? Kwa hivyo wanatetesea. Okay sisi ni mimi ni mkulima wa kando. Lakini ni ni ni, 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 ni.
naona serikali ya tusukuma sana kwa upande ya kodi imeenda juu sana tena kila kitu kusikuwa beikali be na lima ngombe na kura imekuwa juu kila kitu juu hata tukifanya kazi unaona hakuna kitu napata unaona mwisho mwisho wanafanya lakini mazao kidogo sana nimetufinyiria sana hata hatuwezi somesha watoto wetu badala ya kulipa koti eh, tulipishwa pesa kidogo kwa sababu tunapata tu miti kidogo lakini ile ama kaboni ile kubwa nanunua ilipishwa kod 